Alright, what's good everyone? It's your boy BQ, Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. I said I was going to be doing some short uh, content bits here, uh, reviewing matches from BTI and uh, the Impact Digital exclusives. So I know this, is, this one's coming a little bit late. Uh, if you check my last video, I got this little Bluetooth microphone, something I asked for for Christmas so that I could... Uh, you know, do some uh, qu uh, higher quality content on the road. It's not uh, the most optimal sound quality in the world, but it's better than talking directly into my cell phone. So, uh, it, this is a little bit late, but I'm not going to, just spoiler alert, I'm not going to talk about the um, digital exclusive and BTI matches from Throwback Throwdown that they did. Uh, I just, you know, I haven't made it uh, a secret that I'm not really... I don't have much interest in the throwback throwdown stuff, so uh, I'm not going to talk about those. But I'm going to talk real briefly here about the the Wolves versus Infrared from a couple weeks ago. And then, of course, you can leave your thoughts in the comments. I know that these short reviews and uh, talking about these particular matches aren't going to be the most popular thing on the channel. But I do want to get in the habit of uh, creating a little bit more content and uh, getting back to where things used to be a little bit, you know what I mean, with the channel so that we're not just pod podcast centric. So when the first the news first came out for this, it was the uh, you know, the reunion of the Wolves. Uh, and then of course there's a bunch of people who said, "Oh, the, the Wolves are back in Impact Wrestling and whatever, you know." Clearly they're not. This was an independent booking. And these digital media exclusives at first it was like, "Okay, they're going to be matches that take place inside the Impact Zone and uh, you know, they're just taped before an episode of Impact or whatever it is. Now we're just getting, it seems like we're just going to be getting uh, independent matches. They did it last week, or I mean the previous week to this with uh, Brian Myler's Jonathan Schuyler. And then, uh, is it Jonathan or John? John Schuyler, right? Anyway, I'm thinking of Jonathan Gresham. Anyway, uh, there's a match coming up soon. I don't remember who it is. Uh, they've already kind of, someone kind of pre-announced it already, but it is another independent match. This one here looked better than the Skyler and Myers match was, which was Larry Otto Pro inside a gym. Uh, this was Revolver. Uh, I think it's called Revolver Wrestling. Sammy Callahan's promotion, I believe. It looked a lot better, a lot more professional, and uh, I think you know, on the YouTube channel gets over better than doing something inside a gym. There's nothing wrong with high school gym wrestling. I've been at plenty of good shows inside of gyms, but, you know, we're talking about uploading uh, YouTube content here that people actually want to see and care about. But anyway, a lot of people thought this was the reunion of the Wolves and the Wolves are coming back to Impact Wrestling and everything like that. It, it was a it was an independent booking. Um, the match was okay for, for what it was. I thought Infrared got entirely too much uh, offense in and they were the tag team champions so I was like wow they're going to put the belts on the Wolves so Eddie and Davey come out I was hoping they were going to be like semi dressed the same maybe even the Wolves gear they looked nothing alike it was the way Davey looks now uh, it's the way Eddie looks now which uh, I, I, I'm a I was always a big Wolves guy um, and I'm a, I'm a, I love Eddie Edwards I don't really like his look currently. I understand he had to rebrand himself. Um, you know, at least it doesn't have the the uh, the braids, which looked very foolish. Um, he he looks a little bit better now, but it's it's just it was very different seeing Davey kind of look the way he always has, and then Eddie come out with the beard and the shirt and the the jorts and every like it was just it was different to see. It didn't feel like the wolves. It just felt felt like two guys teaming up but they did use the iconic wolves entrance music which is in my opinion one of the best theme songs they've ever had in tna and you know as i said the match is, is what it was infrared got a little too much uh offense in my opinion they look like a pretty decent team they're, they're not someone i would say go out and bring them the impact i mean i didn't see much different than i wouldn't see with the independent wrestling tag team uh but they're they're pretty good um, obviously, uh, Revolver felt, you know, something about them and saw something in them to put him in a match like this, you know. So, uh, Eddie and Davey win. They use their old finisher. And it was really weird because at the end they cut, like, a heel promo. And I don't know if it gets any more white meat than Eddie Edwards, you know. So, it, it was, it was, it was kind of weird. Uh, they were, 
you know, talking down to the crowd and uh, basically stating that they're legends, you know? Um, so that, that was really weird. Is Eddie trying something on the independent scene that he might be trying to bring to Impact? Because Eddie's one of those guys, uh, he's done a good job in... I, not recently, but at one point he did a good job in freshening up, freshening up his character. Um, now it's getting a little, maybe a little bland, uh, just because, you know, I, I've said this many times. I think hardcore wrestling is dead, and Impact loves, you know, to bring out the kendo sticks and the no DQ matches, and you know they they get a hard on for that. I think it is a genre of wrestling that's dead. Um, especially because now there's the deathmatch scene, which is not, I mean, it's a niche scene, but it takes hardcore to the next level. And uh, when you do the hardcore no DQ matches, old school rules, they're just, they're just, they're just straight up gimmick matches. And Eddie is becoming that like plug and play guy, like that they were doing with Tommy Dreamer and, you know, a couple dudes like, okay, we need, we just have to plug someone in here. Let's, let's throw in Eddie Edwards, you know? So he could use something fresh. So it it would be nice to see some kind of Wolves reunion and impact. But Eddie has become a lot bigger than a tag team division at this point. So you know I don't think that's something that would necessarily happen. I thought the Eddie versus Davey feud was amazing. The uh, Full Metal Mayhem with Alicia and Angelina Love is to this day one of my favorite. It was a little short uh, at Slammiversary, but it, to this day one of my favorite matches. So um, you know it's a match worth checking out if you haven't already. Um, and just, you know, see what you thought about the promo at the end. It was just something very different. And sometimes you just have to wonder, you know, are they trying out something to bring onto TV? I don't know. But I don't, I don't see, I don't think Eddie could ever get away with doing heel work with Impact. That would just be really, really odd. But, uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments about the match. And it seems like the digital media exclusive, again, at first it seemed like kind of a good idea. Now it seems like it's going to be their Twitch show that where it's it's a little bit of throwaway like hey here's an independent match for you guys you know i, I don't think that's super exciting uh but they you know they got to make the matches worth people's time you know like the myers versus skyler you know 20 minute match i, I don't think that's going to get people um subscribed and, and watching but this match i don't remember how long it was it was a little longer the previous digital matches were about six minutes which told me that they pay attention to their analytics um, on YouTube and say, okay, this is the average watch time, and uh, so we're going to deliver these six-minute matches that people can consume very quickly. So that whole concept works, uh, but putting long independent matches on there, 10, 20 minutes that uh, don't have the best sound quality or best visual in the world, like, I don't know. We'll see. But it seems like, to me, it seems like they're kind of giving up on the concept already uh, by by going with the uh, independent shows, but we'll see. So thanks for checking me out. I'm your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.